We recently received an MCC development update talking about future flying plans as well as the currently buggy system of the Because You Begged Challenge. So in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as you ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. As we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update on the MCZ. Just kind of give us a little heads up of what's coming around the corner for the game. With the recent release of Season 5 to the MCC, this dev update was a little more smaller and a little more specific on a few topics mentioning the flighting and also the seasonal challenge of Because You Begged. I know a lot of people were having issues with that, so we're going to break that all down in this. So let's get right into it. So the first thing mentioned in this development update is future flighting. There are a lot of eagerly awaited features coming early in 2021, such as view model adjustments, Steam account linking, in-game FPS caps, PC file share, additional audio and video settings, custom game browser, I know a lot of people looking for that one, double key binds, per game audio options, as well as also having PC features coming over the console and vice versa. And in this development update, we get a nice little sneak peek of what's coming around the corner. It sounds like it's coming rather soon. Right here, they mentioned about the flighting program saying, flight's already going through ring one. We're still a bit off from locking in on when the go live date for our next flight and its plethora of pieces. I'd highly suspect that this flight will contain the custom game browser as well as some other features that I've been currently working on. I think the Steam account linking definitely will be in there as well as I believe it's been in the game for a while and they just haven't turned it on because they want to test it in a flight before they actually go through and put it into the full retail version of the game. This custom game browser was originally mentioned back in the summer of 2020 by coming into the game and it's been kind of alluded to ever since. We've only had these screenshots since then and just kind of talked about, yeah, it's, it's coming. But this time, I think in February, we're going to be seeing this flight, probably mid-February or sometime around there. And this will contain the custom game browser, at least in my opinion. As soon as we know more information about the next flight, possibly the custom game browser, I'll let you guys know on this channel for sure. And as always, if you guys have changed your hardware at all when it, since the last flight, which has been quite a long time, as in if you've got a new PC hardware, or if you picked up an Xbox Series S or X, you definitely want to mention that and update your profile for the Halo Insider program. Now the rest of this section, they kind of talk about the bugginess and oddness of the Because You Begged challenge that recently came in Season 5 for the MCC. They talk about some interesting statistics actually, where it's actually the most popular challenge completed right now. In the first 24 hours, we saw it be the most attempted challenge amongst the seasonal ones by a large margin. To date, thousands of people have successfully earned this challenge, but we've also heard from a number of players who haven't had success and feel they may be encountering an underlying issue in completing it. And that's very true. I actually tried this out on my live stream, which by the way, link in the description down below if we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. I tried this on my stream. I, I heard like, oh, you gotta make sure you don't do the aerial animation. You gotta make sure you do it on legendary. Uh, you gotta make sure you do it this certain way. None of that's actually true. And I tried this and I actually got to the point where I was actually like, repeatedly doing this task over and over again and completing it. It just wasn't getting the challenge completed. And they go into details why this is happening within the game. And 343 is currently looking into ways to possibly troubleshoot this or fix this issue. But they do mention that if you're trying for this and you're kind of beating your head against the wall, like I'm doing this repeatedly over and over again and it's not activating, they just kind of hold off a little bit and see if there's anything they can work on to possibly make this challenge a little bit more easier for people to do. Season 5 is going to be around for at least two months, so you do have time to wait. And I, I pretty much would suggest that. Um, I did see a video from Mint Blitz recently mentioned about this challenge and said that it's best if you try to go for like the right shoulder of an elite when you're trying to assassinate them. I haven't tried this out yet, but he does have a good tutorial video if you guys want to go check that out. But honestly, I would just kind of hold off a little bit before doing it. And they actually go in specifically why this has been an issue and it actually apparently was an issue back in the 360 days as well. And they mentioned kind of the details right here saying, in the original release of Halo Reach, the achievement, if they came to hear me better, was put in as a very challenging achievement to acquire. It was both loved and loathed back then by many because of the finicky mechanics of the achievement. 
specifically the validation code based on the physics calculations of the interaction. Before that achievement saw the light of day, it was internally tested by both Bungie and Microsoft. Feedback from the test team was that the achievement often looked like it was completed successfully, but was not actually given credit. One of our goals for the production team was to try to minimize the scenarios where players felt cheated by the system that were implemented. Unfortunately, due to the way the invisible physics pill around the player would interact with the collision of the elite in conjunction with the speed of the player needed to travel in often made the player fail to earn the achievement although it looked like they stuck the landing these concerns were voiced but this was an intended by design therefore the achievement stayed in and its functionality remained difficult so essentially what they're saying is that the physics around the character themselves, there's like this kind of bubble of physics that happens with them. And they apparently like that bubble kind of interacts with the elite before it actually registers the melee. And so then what happens is the game registers it as you landing on top of the elite, then meleeing it, even though it all seems like one fluid action. So this achievement back then also was very finicky. And that's the reason why you don't see very many achievements like this, because it's such a spur of the moment, split second, physics based kind of achievement that's why it can be kind of tricky for these things to actually work so it's really not you guys it's really just the game and honestly the same kind of code that they're borrowing from back in the day for it'll reach back in the 360 days they brought it over to the mcc and the same issues came back as well so it seems like 343 already knew the finicky difficulty of this challenge to be completed but they kind of threw it in the game anyways utilizing the same code and it seems like you'd kind of have to rework some of the game physics specifically for this challenge to be activated and so if 343 can get around to doing that it would be greatly appreciated if there's some other kind of workaround or maybe they rework the challenge to do something else different i don't know but again like if we get any more information i'll let you guys know on this channel i'm going to continue to try to get this achievement done because i want that mr chief and i know a lot of other people do as well and 343 recognizes that they're gonna do some troubleshooting they're gonna look into ways to fix this issue to hopefully make it so people can actually get this achievement rather logically that's everything when it comes to the news of the mcc right now recently i did upload a video of how to rank up fast in the mcc to earn your season points for season five check out the link right there as well as a playlist link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so including some halo infinite news thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next one Peace out